Jerome Douglas, have a seat. <sighs> Comfortable? Sure. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> so, this is your first time visiting the VA Center? Yeah. Can you tell me a little about yourself? I live locally, and I'm stationed at Bellboy. Uh, before that? Kandus. Kandus? Yeah, that's in Afghanistan. Aren't you a PTSD therapist? Yes, I am. Have you never heard of Kandus? Well, you're my second patient here at the VA. I used to be in private practice. You should have stayed there. Why? Because you can't fix PTSD with a pill or image therapy. It gets better, but it never ends. I see. Did you see a lot of action there in Kundis? Define action. Um, gunfights. Lee, this isn't the Wild Wild West. It's war. But, but I did participate in some gunfights, but mostly explosions. Our convoy got hit by IEDs. You say it so matter-of-factly. What, want me to cry? I'm so beyond that. Did you lose anyone close to you? I lost my best friend, Sergeant Greg Mason. We both joined the Army right out of high school together. I am so sorry for your loss. Yeah, everybody's so sorry. Are you angry about something, Jerome? Really? People's forgotten about us over there. What have we been there since 9 11? 18 years ago. All they say is, oh, too bad. You know, people care more about their dogs dying than soldiers over there protecting their freedom. I'm sure that America is grateful for your sacrifice. <laughs> You know what you sound like? A damn veteran's poster. <sighs> My buddy. I remember he was over there smiling and laughing. And the next minute he was blown to pieces. I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't, I don't need you sorry. At least he went quickly. Oh. That makes me feel better. I... I don't mean to. I, I just can't get his face out of my head. I remember joy. Followed by horror. It took like a second for his body to be blown to pieces. But in my mind, it was so slow. It was hell. <sighs> then I had to go back and share his last memories with his parents and his wife. I don't know which was worse. Her screams, or well, the kids realizing they'd never see their daddy again. Sorry, I'm not supposed to. No, no, it's okay. You're on the right track. It shows you're not immune yet.
I'll see you next week.